As the miners begin returning home, hidden details of their underground ordeal are surfacing. One of the guys said, we gave ourselves up to, to death. We were afraid that the first one who died would be eaten. Writer Jonathan Franklin spoke to the miners and their families throughout the crisis. Following the collapse, the miners split into two groups. One remained in the safety zone. The other group attempted to climb out through air shafts. Tires were burned in hopes the dark smoke would find its way to the surface. The miners even set off explosives, hoping to alert rescuers, but there was no response. The shaft, the one area they might have been able to climb out, caved in and they were sealed in. As the days dragged on, emotions ran high. Some pushing and shoving broke out, but eventually a sense of community grew. So they actually voted on issues. They had daily meetings and they had daily prayers. I asked another miner, how did you do it? And he said, we survived on religion and humor. It was 17 days before they learned they hadn't been forgotten. But rescue brought other complications for miner Johnny Barrios. And at one point, the miners joked, Johnny doesn't want to be rescued. He'll stay down here. <laughs> This is a homecoming that has interested people around the world. Because when miner Yanni Barrios comes home, he'll be coming here to his mistress's house, not his wife's house, just down the street. Nobody knows the word love anymore. It was Susana Valenzuela who greeted Barrios as he emerged. And she's preparing his welcome home party. He's all mine, meat and bones. <laughs> he may be hers, but he still has his own secrets about his ordeal. When you ask him about it, he tears up a little and says, no, 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 my love, later. The last miner should be out of the hospital behind me by the end of the weekend. On Sunday, they're all expected to return to the mine for a special mass. Katie? And Seth, I know a flood of interview requests and endorsement offers have come their way. How are they all handling that? Well, it remains to be seen, really. Deep underground, they knew that people were fascinated by their story, and they figured that they could make money in sharing it. So it turns out they decided to sign a special pact in which all 33 people would share in any profits they made. So we'll see if indeed that is what happens. Katie? All right, Seth Doan reporting tonight from Copiapo, Chile. Seth, thank you so much for your reporting all week long. You've done a terrific job. Thanks, Katie.